Today I'm going to work on a Project 335 uh, XI that I have sitting. So pretty much the problem with it is it has a water pump and I need to change the thermostat and I also need to, what else, pretty much revamp the cooling system all in all. So that was the, pretty much the reason why the car was sitting and it's not functional right now. So one thing I had to go ahead and do was I went ahead and started cleaning up my garage a bit so I could accommodate two cars in here. So pretty much just moved everything over to the side. Uh, yeah, and I put up another shelf that I had sitting. So uh, I got pretty much a good amount of room to be able to work on the car or have both of them sitting inside the garage. I don't want this one outside. So got the door cover off because it's going to paint. So I need them to get the correct paint match. And yeah, the front tires are flat. So I need to go ahead and get those first taken off and get the tires changed. Initially, this is how my car used to look <laughs> stock, except it wasn't sports package. So it was a little bit higher and the wheels were 17s instead of 18s and evidently silver instead of blue. But yeah, it's almost a long way from where this car came from. So I got the tires back and I got it on the car right now at the sides just in case if the jack stand fail or something happens better safe than sorry and other side and got some parts in today thermostat uh, coolant drain and ah, bleed screw so everything is here I'm just waiting for the water pump right now but I'm gonna get I'm going to go ahead and start tearing everything apart and get it ready. One thing I noticed is there's a whole bunch of oil underneath here, but this is the first time I'm working on an XI, so hopefully it's somewhat similar and not as painful as or worse than working on an I. So pretty much I'm going to go ahead and remove the ground wire, that's the first thing from off the battery. So it's a 10 millimeter. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So it's off now, but the light is off. Uh, one thing to note is if you're doing this on your car, make sure you have a spot to put the key in and you have the key or try it out and make sure it works by using the key manually to open the trunk or else you won't be able to open the trunk and you might have to crawl through the back if you have a ski pass. And in this situation, it doesn't have a ski pass. So I would have been out of luck. So yeah, just make sure of that, or you can just go ahead and leave the trunk open, but don't need to, I have the key and I have to open it up. Well, I got the cover off and while I'm looking underneath here, it's a lot of oil. So I'm assuming that the valve cover, not the valve cover, the oil pan gasket might be shot or the oil filter housing. I know I got to change that also. So hopefully it's just the oil filter housing gasket because I'd be crying right now if I have to do the oil pan gasket. But looking at it, on the, on the eyes, I could take out, pretty much work from the bottom and take the water pump out. So it's right here on this, on the X eyes. And the thermostat's right here. So it looks like I'm gonna have to take off the intercooler and the fan and yeah, drop the front sway bar get these out of the way and it should be an easy shot to it so looking at how it's set up right now it seems like the exercise is a little bit more easier than the eye. all right so the first thing i'm gonna do is use a t15 star and take these front and duck piece off so it's two bolts so here and over here so i'm gonna go ahead and take these off and this part will just pretty much pop out so clipped it out and put the screws into these slots right here just to make sure that uh, I don't lose the bolts. So stick this up here. And then next I'm going to go ahead and do is, I don't think you could see too well right here. So pretty much this vent right here, it's hooked on. So I'm going to pop it off the clip holder, just pull up. And use a flathead or a pick or something and pop this up and remove this off the coolant reservoir. Popped up and pull off. 
Ugh, that ain't good. Yeah, it has look like it's been mixing oil inside the coolant. So most likely over here, the oil filter gasket is bad, and that's why it's mixing in. So that's what I'm hoping is the issue. But as I continue to go through this, I'll go ahead and figure out what's going on. Apparently someone has been working on this car, but they forgot to put back the bolt that holds the radiator fan in. So right here is the Torx base that's supposed to be right here. So I don't think you can see that, but down there, that's where it should be. So you take that off and then over on this end, down here, if you feel your hand down there, you'll see like a, a thing that you could push like that. Um, once you pull, pull it like this way, it will release the fan and you can pull it up. Before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and squeeze these together and remove the power. All this is loosened, so the only thing left right now is to work from the bottom. So up top, we're good. So before I even remove the fan, I got to remove the, since this is an automatic, I have to remove this bolt right here. Where is it? right here so I'm gonna go ahead and use a t25 to remove it so once I take this off because it's hooked onto the radiator fan so once I take it off I'm able to push this up and release everything and able to take the fan out fan is out right now so it's the screw from the bottom so I'm gonna go ahead and screw this into this and one thing to note I forgot that this is a stock car so right here the charge pipe will be pretty much snapped into this area right here so all you gotta do is really where is it at right here that bracket I don't wanna break anything here we go just bracket right here just pretty much pull it off or just when you're pulling it up just be mindful of that spot right there it'll catch right there it's eerie how quiet it is out here today uh well, now to go from the bottom, I'm really trying to keep clean, but even I've been through like six goals right now. And this thing is just oil everywhere. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and drop the the intercooler. So I'm gonna use this and pop this clip down like so. I'm gonna do it when I turn this off. So this one, and then over here, this one also. So pop those off and then use, uh, I'm assuming it's gonna be a T25 also. Take this out and take this out also. But before you do that, before you take those, this is the last thing that you will do is take these bolts out. There's a, where is it? Two clips right here. Just turn them. Another one right here, turn these two and then you take these uh, bolts out. That just showed you. Yeah. And then you can just go ahead and pull the intercooler out. These things are so small, you don't need like any help or anything like that. They just fall out. Well, be mindful of that. It's out. This side has like oil inside here. So definitely oil was going through here. Uh, this is that piece right here that I told you about to like turn before you take off those uh, bolts. So that's them right here. It sits like so, and then this sits on it like that. And that's what locks like that. And that's what locks it into place. But make sure when you're taking it off to watch your eyes because a lot of crap is gonna be down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and sweep this up. But Already you can see how much more room we have to pull the water pump and thermostat. I'm gonna go ahead and use a flathead or something and just turn this uh, this blue piece that way and pretty much pull the whole thing out. And you should pretty much take the blue things out and you turn the black part here with a 19 or so and this whole thing should come out. So I'm using one of these buckets because the wider area so Main thing this year I'm trying to make sure is have a clean work area. So the draining has stopped and we have a 10 millimeter bolt right here, two of them, one here and one over here. So you're gonna remove that 
and that should drop down this coolant line from off the subframe. So we're gonna remove that and then remove the power steering uh, hose off the bracket, which is right here. So we gotta hold uh, up here at the top and then down here just to remove it off of this. All right, so I went ahead and took these two out. They're 13 mils. So we're dropping the sway bar. So here and here's the bolt. And where is the other one? Oh, here we are. So here and right above up here is the other one. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the an E12 and remove this first, the E12. And then after that, with an E12. And then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, remove these clips right here. So now we could go ahead and use a flat header or something or something flat so you could pry it over here, lift it up and pull out the thermostat uh, connector. Go ahead and take off these. I just took this uh, clip off, off the thermostat. So both of these, so you just use a flat header or something, pop up the clips and pull them. So I pulled the smallest one, that was the easiest one. And now I have to do this big one and it's like a pain in the butt. So pretty much all you gotta do is a pretty, pretty much all you gotta do is a bunch of wiggling back and forth, shaking and pulling straight back. Make sure it's straight back and uh, it'll come right out. But damn, man, it's a lot of oil as in this coolant. That's nasty. So I moved both hoses so they removed off the thermostat. This thing is pretty much still leaking out oil, looking like peanut butter. But I also removed the uh, use a 10 millimeter uh, ratchet in wrench and took off the bolt right here. So it's attached to this bracket right here. So once I remove it, it'll be able to bring, make the, what was it, the front sway bar, be able to hang down more to get room. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and use an E12 socket and remove this bolt, that bolt back here, and there's another one up here. And I'm gonna try to remove the water pump from the block with the thermostat still on. So I'm trying to remove it all in one shot. But I know there might be some lines back there that I gotta disconnect still with like a flathead or a, a number eight. So I'm gonna go ahead and see how that goes and um, yeah. All right, so this is a complete mess. So right here, the thermostat is out. So what I did was I had to pull out, actually it was easier just to go ahead and get the thermostat bolts. Actually it was easier just to get the thermostat bolts out and then go ahead and get the water pump bolts um, removed. Once the water pump and thermostat bolts are loose, you could pull on it on a thermostat and you get room to see the first bolt which connects to the, or what's it called, band. Uh, you able to remove it, remove it using like a flat head, like so, or eight millimeter. And that's the line that connects to the water pump to the thermostat. So remove that and then it'll start to hang here. So all I gotta do now is, let's see, remove this last clip right here right there and then back here i have another clip that's hooked up to the water pump so the thermostat is down so that last bolt up here at the top once i remove it uh i'll be able to pull the water pump out and get access behind and get to that last hose that's holding it in actually it was just that one screw on the side so I removed it and the only thing that's left once I pull it out is I just got to remove that uh, power cord and yeah, it's out. <laughs> All right, so the water pump is out right now. Uh, what a mess. I assume this is why the water pump failed in the first place, all this oil in the coolant. But yeah, so that'll be pretty much it. Um, just pretty much do everything in reverse and then your car will be back up and running. In my case, I either have a turbos that are blown, the seal, or I'm hoping it's just the oil filter housing over here that the gasket is leaking. Cause if it's turbos, that's another, oh gosh, that's a whole nother job. So yeah, that's it.